Hi and welcome to the Eagle House Senior Center. My name is Doreen Noble and I am the director here. We are located at 25 Memorial Drive in Lunenburg. We'd like to invite anybody 60 years of age or, or over into uh, the Senior Center for a visit. If it's your first time here for a visit, please uh, make sure you ask for me and I'd be happy to give you a uh, pass for our pancake breakfast. So I'd love to see you and you'd be invited for free pancakes here at the Eagle House. Our telephone number is 978-582-4166. And today I'd like to highlight some of the September activities and the October activities as well as even let you know kind of what's going on around the holidays. So I just really want to give you a, a good preparation of uh, some of the upcoming events here at the Eagle House. September 11th is a very busy day for us here. I previously mentioned our pancake breakfast. Our pancake breakfast is held the second Wednesday of every month. Um, and it's thanks to the Lunenburg Turkey Hill Family Lions Club and uh, Hannaford's uh, Shop and Market. And we're able to provide a pancake breakfast here uh, once a month. And for only $2, you can get pancakes, sausages, pastry, and coffee. And all the proceeds will go to benefit programs run by the Turkey Hill Family Lions Charities. So you're more than welcome to come in. And as again, I said, you uh, if you're a first-time visitor, uh, ask for me, and uh, you can have pancakes uh, on the house. I'd love to see you. Again on the 11th, the Lunch Bunch will be going out and they are going out to Cornerstones in Lemonster and the Lunch Bunch is a program for people that just want to go to different uh, facilities and uh, different restaurants and check, check out what some of the local fear is. Uh, seating is limited in this program, especially this one here at Cornerstones, it's limited to 20. You do have to provide your own transportation, uh, but uh, call the Senior Center and make a reservation and we'd, we'd love to have you. Again, on the 11th of September, the Traveling Tooth Fairy will be here. This is a fairly innovative program where we have a dental hygienist by the name of Marcy Foreman who comes to uh, do dental examinations, dentist, dental cleaning, denture cleaning, and they're all for a reasonable rate. But you would have to call ahead for an appointment here at the Eagle House at 978-582-4166 and make an appointment and then Marcy will uh, call you with a pre-screening and set you up for uh, an appointment on that day. Uh, on the 11th we're also showing a movie called The Help which is a excellent movie and uh, I think that you would uh, enjoy coming down to see it. We have uh, movies that run every Wednesday uh, on September the 11th. We will be having The Help on September 18th, The Barefoot Contessa, and on September 25th, Bullworth. So all those movies are free without free and uh, you're welcome to come in anytime on a Wednesday afternoon and watch the movie with us. September the 18th we're going to have the nurse from Neshoba Board of Health come in and we will have what is called an adult well clinic. Uh, that is a time for you to spend with the nurse, talk about any medical issues that you might have, have your blood pressure checked um, and just check in with the nurse. Sometimes the doctor tells you to come by and have your blood pressure checked or monitor it once a week or once a month. And we can do that here at the Eagle House. We can uh, make sure that you do see a nurse once a month. The SHINE counselor will also be here on September 18th. SHINE stands for Serving Health Insurance Needs of Seniors. And it's that time of year when all the health insurance companies are making changes and open enrollment and uh, believe me, it's, it's very confusing uh, for us in the Elder Network to understand and uh, we do provide uh, a counselor who is trained by the Massachusetts Department of Elder Affairs to assist uh, older citizens with that. Um, and so they are here, they are available, they are volunteers. Um, but you want to make an appointment and again the Shine Counselor comes in uh, on, the seven, on the 18th of September. So you would want to call ahead and those appointments usually are um, fairly well booked. So make sure that if you have an insurance question that you, that you book to see the Shine Counselor. 
Also, if your insurance question has to do with being in the Fallon <coughs> program, Fallon will be sending us a representative uh, to discuss their recent changes. There are changes with uh, Fallon switching over to uh, the Reliant Medical Group, and some folks have had some concerns about the changes with their doctors, etc. We can't help you here at Eagle House. Our staff can't help you here at Eagle House, but what we can do is provide for you to have a trained individual from Fallon come in and answer some of those questions. So general questions about health insurance, you can see the Shine counselor on September 18th, but an appointment is necessary. And by all means, you can come to the Fallon program and talk to a representative about the Senior Fallon program. It's important that you do let us know if you will be coming to a program like the Fallon one, only because people that are presenting call us a day or two ahead of time to see how many folks we have. And if we don't have anybody signed up, then the program is canceled. So uh, a walk-in may or may not prove to be fruitful for you. So if you do know you want to come, please give us a call ahead of time. September the 19th, we will have our third Thursday speaker series. Uh, Christy Mendoza, who uh, is with River Terrace Healthcare, will be sponsoring a program. And Christy is going to have an apple activity, and uh, she's going to speak all about the benefits of the healthy benefits of apples. And she promises that uh, she will have a treat that's uh, surely to delight your taste buds. So if you would like to come to that program on the 19th of September, which is is a Thursday please let us know we'd love to have you again it's important that you do call ahead of time so that we don't uh, cancel our presenter on Monday the 23rd we're still continuing with our uh, Apple theme and we will be having an Apple festival that festival will be sponsored by Golden Living they will have Apple trivia a free raffle and they have promised us Apple themed treats as well so Sure to delight your palate in the next couple of days um, on the 23rd and the 19th, but uh, call ahead and come see the Apple Festival, again sponsored by Golden Living. We also, on the 25th of September, are going to have an Apple Pie Social. So you're going to have your fill of apples this week, and, excuse me, you're going to have your fill of apples this month um, at 10 a.m. on the 25th. Uh, Sharon Noli from uh, Fallon Community Health Plan will be here. She's going to present a program on Navicare. And Navicare is a Medicare Advantage program with a senior care option. And that's for adults 65 and older who have mass health, okay, or have standard uh, Medicare benefits. So it's important that you can come in and find out about that. She also will speak about Summit Elder Care which is a program of all-inclusive care and provides a high level of care, medical insurance, and adult day health and home care. So these are some important uh, programs that you might want to come in. All these programs here at the Eagle House are free of charge, and what the heck, it is uh, free food. So you might as well come down and, and check us out. Again, that's Navicare that will be here on September the 25th at 10 a.m. And again, please call to register for that. We're also going to be sponsored on the 25th by Manor on the Hill. And Manor on the Hill uh, will be having a rousing game of Bunko. Uh, Bunko is a game that uh, provides uh, a lot of entertainment. There's lots of laughter coming from that room. The folks that are playing that game really enjoy it. And Manor on the Hill provides us with free prizes. So come on in. Matthew Hall is very popular with the ladies and uh, he is the marketing director for uh, Manor on the Hill and he'd love to have you come in. So Bunko at 10 a.m. on September the 25th. On the 26th of December, I'm sorry, on the 26th of September, we will be going to the Mountain Barn in Princeton. That is with the uh, Baby Boomers Dine Around Club, and the Baby Boomers are going to have a, an enjoyable time. Baby Boomers go out and they have um, socialization. It's not a singles club and it's not a couples club. It's uh, Everyone is is welcome to go. Everybody is uh, welcome to enjoy themselves. Uh, we do have a seating limit of 30 
going to the Mountain Bond in Princeton and they also give you your own check and with the check is included the gratuity so uh, you can go ahead and order separate off the menu or whatever you like so if you'd like to go to the Mountain Bond please uh, call us and register for that in September I'm going to move on to October and let you know some of the things that are going on in October on the 2nd of October at 10 a.m. Keystone Nursing Center is going to sponsor a program and the program is called come and laugh to your sides hurt and your tears roll down your cheeks so that's quite a program um, the philosophy is is that laughter is one of the best sources of medicine uh, it has an extremely positive effect and having a cheerful attitude and a good belly laugh can have on our emotions and our physical systems so laughter is truly is the is the, one of the best medicines there are I believe in laughing almost every single day I really try to get a good laugh on and believe me around here there's quite a <laughs> quite a lot that uh, that occurs that that's uh, laughable especially when we enjoy interacting with with people and uh, enjoy some of the things that uh, that we share so it's a family-like atmosphere at the Eagle House and uh, laughter is is one of the things that we enjoy doing so if you want to come down and uh, see the program sponsored by Keystone Nursing Center you'd be more than welcome again on October the 2nd at 10 a.m. on October the 16th we'll be having a flu clinic so if you don't like needles, they're really nothing to laugh about, but we will be having a flu clinic. The flu clinic is sponsored by the uh, Neshoba Board of Health. There's no appointment necessary. It's a first come, first uh, serve basis. They do ask that you bring your health insurance card, although you're not billed individually for it. The, uh, the Board of Health will bill overall bill some of the insurance companies for the serum. So uh, anybody that wants to have a flu shot that's not only seniors but uh, anybody in the community who would like to come in for a flu shot can come in on October the 16th starting at 9 a.m. and it is a first come first serve basis. And we just want to have you reserve the date December the 16th is going to be the date that the Eagle House Dine Around Christmas Party will be. We uh, don't have a location but we will have more information coming later and uh, I just want you to know that with making your Christmas plans if you want to be involved in the Eagle House Dine Around Christmas Party that is going to be on December the 16th at 6 p.m. Now I just want to highlight some of the uh, daily things that go on here at the Eagle House. Just give you a rundown of some of the things that uh, people participate in. First and uh, up on the on the uh, schedule is our congregate lunch site. Congregate lunch uh, involves um, coming to the senior center, pre-ordering a lunch, uh, sitting and enjoying some socialization for a very low fee. We also hope to be having, uh, coming in October or November, a congregate breakfast program that will also have a, a low fee for that. Uh, we ask that you order a day ahead of time so that uh, we know how many folks to plan on. On Mondays in our congregate lunch right now, we are currently having a soup and sandwiches that are, that are made by our food service uh, folks here that are employed by the Eagle House. And on Thursday, we have a salad buffet that uh, is also available. The salad buffet is available uh, for a charge of $2.25. It's a pretty good bargain for what is on the salad bar. But you at any time can order what's known as the mock meal, the Montachusett Opportunity Council meal. So we do offer those meals four days a week. Those are on a donation basis. And, uh, but if you wanted to come to the super salad or you wanted to come to the buffet, we ask that you, you also let us know because there is a charge for that and we do also try to keep a good count on how many people are coming. Would love to have you any day, so please let us know. Um, we also have a walking club that meets uh, every Monday and Wednesday morning at 8.30. They meet outside of the Eagle House. They're a great group. They love to walk the different routes through town. Uh, men and women are welcome. They start at the Eagle House and uh, they 
they go off for their walk and then they come back here and maybe have a nice cool glass of uh, fresh spring water or they come back and have a cup of coffee and participate in some of the other activities. So it's a nice way to get out and walk while the weather is still good. And they do go pretty much uh, rain or shine unless it's extremely nasty. So uh, any Monday or Wednesday walking club is at 8.30. On Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9.30, we have a regularly scheduled program called Cheer Moves. Cheer Moves is an instructed-led class. Uh, it's um, very similar to, to Cheer Yoga. Uh, there are a number of participants in the class, and it's geared towards folks that, uh, towards your own physical ability, to, towards whatever you are physically able to do and uh, there's people that range in age uh, in chair moves from 60 on up into their 90s so if you want to come and check out the class and see what it's about you'd be more than welcome any Tuesday. On Wednesdays we offer a line dancing class and line dancing runs from 1 to 2 30 p.m. it's a fee of three dollars and Joyce will lead the class and Joyce does a wonderful job she uh, teaches both beginners and advanced line dances. So if you would like to stop into the Eagle House on a Wednesday and view that class, you'd be more than welcome. And there's always a rip-roaring time being uh, heard at the Eagle House on Tuesdays around 2 p.m. And that's when our Wee Bowling League comes in. Uh, our Wee Bowling League is a virtual bowling league. You can come in and bowl uh, on the computer. It's uh, tons and tons of fun. Some of our people have uh, been doing well. They've even gone up into the 240, 260 mark on, on bowling. Uh, and those folks range in age as well. And they really, really enjoy it. So we bowling, and if your grandchildren, if you see your grandchildren doing it and you want to get good, you can sneak down here to the senior center and uh, bone up on your wee bowling and then you can really uh, wipe the kids out with, uh, with a big surprise at how well you do because that's what uh, one or two of uh, our seniors have already done. They didn't know that, uh, that Grandpa was going to be that good with the bowling. So it's a good chance to uh, come down and see how the program works. Uh, one of the other things that we have going on is that uh, on Wednesday mornings we have a coffee shop. Our coffee shop meets from 9 to 10.30, except the second Wednesday of the month, and that's when we have pancakes. But uh, we do have uh, bagels and muffins and donuts and coffee here available for purchase. Um, and if the, if the pastry is donated, then there's no charge for our, our pastry, and we just ask you to pay for the coffee. But it's a good, uh, good time to find out what's going on around town, to uh, see uh, uh, other people and enjoy uh, a nice socialization in the morning. Um, we also have a book club that meets uh, the third Monday of every month. Uh, you can find out what book they are reading by going to the Lunenburg Public Library. But the book club meets uh, at 10 a.m. and they will be starting again in September. So this is the month to find out. This is the month that they'll be beginning. So uh, please, if you are interested in the book club, um, the third Monday of this month happens to be the 16th. So you're welcome to stop in and find out what's going on, or you can stop by the Lunenburg Public Library and ask them for whatever book is that the Eagle House Book Club is reading. Um, some of the fun things that we do around here, there's a bunch of different games that go on. We have cribbage on Mondays at 9.30. We have bridge going on Tuesdays at 12.30. We also have canasta going on Tuesdays at 12.30. Quilting on Mondays at 1. Bingo on Thursdays at 1. Bunko, as I mentioned before, is at 10 a.m. on the last Wednesday. Again, the movies are always at 12.45 on a Wednesday. And now we have a Mahjong group that is coming into play. And they play at Thursday at 9 a.m. And they stay through most of the day. So these are some of the highlights that we have. I want to let you know that if you want to book transportation to anywhere local around, uh, around Lemonster or Lunenburg, or if you need to go to the Neshoba Hospital, you can call uh, dispatcher Susan Doherty at 978-978. 582-4166. That's 
4166 for transportation. She takes transportation calls anytime Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. We also have an outreach worker available. Our outreach worker, Faith Anderson, is here from two, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. And Faith can help you or assist you with uh, issues such as uh, home care, housing referrals, uh, food stamps, Meals on Wheels, uh, File for Life, support groups, that type of thing. So that anything in the social service area that you may need, you can speak and uh, call, call and speak to Faith Anderson. Again, Faith can be reached at 978-582-4166. You want, if you do want a meal and you would like to come in, we ask that you do call a day ahead of time. Uh, ask for the kitchen and speak with the food service coordinator there and you can make a meal res reservation uh, anytime. You can also leave your meal reservation uh, on the voicemail uh, as long as it's within a 24-hour notice and it's the same thing with the transportation especially when we're now closed on Friday. Some people get a little bit confused and we try to if you leave us a reservation for Friday on Friday and we are closed but it's for Monday we will try the very best that we can to accommodate you. We can't always do that. It's better if you try to speak to us on Thursday before we close but uh, if we can make a reservation for you either way with lunch or with the van we will do the very best that we can. Again, you're welcome to stop by the Eagle House anytime. I'm always glad to see a new face and you do not have to be 60 years old to walk through our doors. Many of our programs are geared for folks of all different ages and varieties. We do have some programs that I have to have folks that are 60, especially those programs that are funded by uh, the FDA or, or funded by, I'm sorry, by the USDA or programs that are funded by uh, transportation, that type of stuff. So if they're funded by the Mass Department of Elder Affairs or from HUD, that type of thing, yes, you do have to be 60. But if you did want to come in and you wanted to quilt or you wanted to play Mahjong or you wanted to check out an exercise class, you know, um, we're, not, uh, we're not the least bit, um, what's the word here I'm looking for? <laughs> we're, we're not a bunch of old fogies at the Eagle House. That's the word I'm looking for. So come on down and have an enjoyable time. All right, take care. Goodbye.